Hello, everyone. This is Yana Smakula for Pretty Pink Posh, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I will show you how to use the Sparkle Dot Pattern 1 stamp set to create stunning and unique cards or backgrounds for your cards. This is a very clever stamp set that has been designed to help you align and evenly space out any tiny embellishments on your cards. Each little circle dot represents a space for a sequin or a confetti piece or a little enamel dot or a gem. If you ever try to arrange tiny embellishments to form some sort of a pattern, you know that it never works and the object or the shape or the pattern ends up looking wonky. Well, this stamp set has been designed with that in mind for precise alignment and placement. There are several shapes here. There is a heart shape and here I have a card where I use that hard stamp to create a heart pattern with the help of marshmallow confetti from Pretty Pink Posh. There is also a rainbow and I also have an example of how this shape can be used. And by the way, if you stamp it twice, you can have a circle. Here I used same color embellishments, but you can use rainbow colors for a more colorful card if you like. There are also other shapes in this stamp set. There is a leaf or a petal. You also have a straight line, a mini semicircle, and also an individual dot outline as well as a dot stamp in case you want to add color to any of the stamp dots on your project. So it's a unique stamp set and if you like working with embellishments with little embellishments like sequins and similar, I think it's a must have stamp set for your stash. So you are probably wondering how does this stamp set work? Well, let me show you. Here I have a panel of white wood grain cardstock. I personally love to use this paper for clean and simple projects that feature a lot of white space. Normally, I never stamp on this paper because of that texture, as you'll never be able to get a good enough impression. But since I don't really need a good enough impression, these stamps need to be used just as a guide only. I'm going to stamp the star pattern onto this panel and use it as a guide to form a sequin star. It's best to use a light color of ink for your stamping so that the stamping will remain invisible under your embellishments. If you use black ink and transparent sequins, you'll be able to see that ink under the sequins. I'm using a very light gray ink today. If you stamp onto colored cardstock, you can also use a watermark ink for a barely visible impression. Here I've stamped this star and you can barely see it on my paper. It's visible enough for me to align and adhere my embellishments, yet it won't be visible through the embellishments. Another must have tool for this technique is a pickup tool. Here I have a crystal katana tool. I always use it when I work with tiny embellishments. It really is a must have as it's not that easy to pick up these little pieces with your fingers and let alone position them properly or precisely on the project. There are other tools that are similar to this one, so you don't have to use this exact tool, but just any tool that will help you pick up the pieces and place them exactly where you need them on your project. I'm also going to use glue. This is Deluxe Adhesive from Tonic Studios. Any strong glue will work for this, and it's always best to use glue that dries matte in case it oozes out from the sequin so it won't show or it won't shine on the card. I've zoomed in a little bit, and hopefully you can see the process a little better here. I'm picking up the confetti element, adding a tiny dot of glue, and placing my confetti element on top of it. And I'm placing the glue dot inside of the stamped circle. I'm using marshmallow confetti mix from Pretty Pink Posh, and I love the look of white on white, but of course you can use any color of sequins or confetti or jams that you like. You can mix colors too if you want. I'm using the smallest size elements from my mix, I've also used medium sized pieces for another card. I probably wouldn't use the large elements as they will overlap. I want my shapes to have a little bit of space in between the pieces, so this is why I'm using the smallest elements. So here is my shape all nice and completed. I love the way it turned out and this stamp set is actually quite addictive. 
I wanted to try every shape on every color of cardstock and use all of my sequin colors. Maybe one day I will. To finish my card, I have already stamped and cut out several tiny flowers and leaves using two stamp sets from Pretty Pink Posh. I used the Autumn Blooms and Bold Blooms sets for this. I'm going to create a little floral cluster and the way I like to do this is I make it or I create the cluster on a large foam square. So I adhere everything onto the square, creating the arrangement that I want. And I also add additional foam adhesive as I build my cluster. And once I'm happy with it, I just transfer it over onto the card with the foam square already there. My card also needs a sentiment and I decided to use one from the Birdie Friends stamp set. Since this is such a minimalistic card or a clean and simple card, I needed to use a skinny sentiment. So I used one that reads Missing You. I stamped it in clear sticky ink onto black paper and heat embossed in white embossing powder. I cut one of the ends of my strip into a V-shape and foam mounted it onto the card. Here's a quick look at all three cards I made using the Sparkle Dot Pattern 1 stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will give this idea a try. If you do, do tag me and Pretty Pink Posh on social media so we can take a peek at your project. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment below. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye!